Hello and welcome to the Aero-V engine assembly video series. I'm Joe Norris at Sonics Aircraft LLC. In this series of video segments, we are going to walk through the assembly of an Aero-V engine. We will be following the sequence called out in the Aero-V assembly manual. The manuals get updated much more often than the video series. So if there is a case where the manual and the video series disagree, your manual that came with your engine is the guide for you to follow. But in general, all of the steps that we have in the manual will be shown in the video series. We hope you enjoy the video series. We hope you enjoy putting together your Aero-V engine. And we look forward to seeing your airplane flying. Now we're ready to install our oil screen. I pre-lubed the paper gaskets with our uh, Valvoline VR1 motor oil, the same oil that we're going to run the, uh, in the engine. Some people will use various gasket sealers on these gaskets. Uh, uh, all kinds of different things have been tried, but we found that just simply uh, soaking them with motor oil works as good as any. So that's what we do. So we just take one gasket goes on first. Get that seated against the engine case. And then our oil screen goes in next. It fits right in there. Then the next gasket goes on. Get that seated down on there good. Then the cover goes on. It's just a stamped sheet metal cover. Line it up, push it down on there as far as it'll go to get the nuts started. There's some little copper washers that go on there. They just simply set one on and start the nut on each location. Now that we have all of our uh, fasteners started onto the studs, we're going to torque those. This is where you'll use your pound inch torque wrench. Uh, this uh, torque limit on these uh, oil cover studs are uh, 60 pound inches, uh, not pound feet. So you want to make sure you use the correct torque wrench and set it the correct uh, setting for 60 pound inches. And while there is no officially called out torque sequence on these. I like to do them in a very similar fashion to a uh, wheel lugs where you just go across each one across from the next rather than going around a circle. So just try to alternate back and forth across the circle one from the other. Now since torquing those has pulled that up tighter as we went, we're going to go around and just check them each one more time in sequence just to make sure that nothing loosened up as that seated in there. Now you'll notice that even though these are self-locking uh, or fiber lock nuts that the studs didn't quite protrude all the way through. Uh, these studs are various lengths and they get set in there at various depths uh, during the manufacture of the case. So sometimes they will uh, protrude through and sometimes they won't. 
It is not a concern uh, often on a Volkswagen engine. They actually use plain uh, non-locking nuts on these. It is the torque that is holding it in place, not the uh, fiber lock. So if it happens that your case doesn't uh, have long enough studs to protrude through, it's not a concern. You can actually use just plain uh, non-locking nuts on this as well. Some of the oil pump kits or oil uh, filter kits actually come with acorn nuts um, on there, which are a plain non-locking nut. Uh, so don't worry about that. Just make sure that you have it torqued properly to 60 pound inches, and that'll stay on there with no problem for you.